with the semi-finals over, and before we move on to the final, let's acquaint ourselves with one of the top couples here. Last year's World 10 Dance bronze medalists, Anna and Andre from Russia. This couple is certainly one of the favorites to win this year, and their dream of a gold came at the beginning of their dancing career 11 years ago. I started dancing at the age of nine, and my mother, she's our coach, and she was a, my coach. And she dancing together, and she dancing with my father. Once, not so a long time, maybe two years. And that I started dancing because I'm always uh, was with my mother on the train and every, everywhere. And I really wanted it. With dancing in the family, Anna soon needed a good partner. And with her mother's help, the perfect match was found. But in the beginning, it wasn't easy. My mother, she looks uh, at Andre once uh, on the stage and when he dancing, I think, yes. Andre goes for the first train, uh, for the first uh, try tone, and then we directly start dancing together. Um, I have a really <laughs> higher class, but Andre <laughs> has not. <laughs> she has to start from the beginning with me. Yeah, from the zero. <laughs> I start again. It takes time, dedication and patience with one another to be able to develop such a strong and lasting union. The pairing have been the best of friends from day one and a love for dance made them who they are today. Fun made me more calm, not so aggressive and we, can, we also can speak about our problems without fights and something. And that's why we are still together and we start to dance and everything goes good. good. Yeah, I agree with Andre. Because it's a very big problem if the um, character is not good enough, uh, not uh, connected together. And it's really difficult to find it. And now we're dancing about yeah, 11, 11 years and a half. half and we know about each other, everything. And it's very good. Anna and Andre have always been true fans of Latin dance, but after so many years of competing in 10 dance competitions, choosing only one style is not an option for them. This Russian pair is top ranked, but even the best need the drive to carry on. And for their hopes and dreams to become a reality, more than just talent is required. A complete devotion to dance has to come from the inside. Every dancer inside, uh, you are really a fighter. And you need to be concentrate to this or maybe uh, not so concentrate uh, to the win, uh, or concentrate about dancing. What you feel inside, and you feel it, each other together. And now, the finals. We have six couples in the final, Russia, Hungary, Denmark, Germany, Slovenia and Czech Republic. And they're all going to show what they're good for. Starting off with the tango. The Russians here, getting ready. The tango is all about attitude. Very good hold and very good movement. Sharp, crisp movements. Hungarian couple. Maybe not as sharp as the Russians, but still. A very presentable performance. The Danish. Showing off a dangerous move there with the head close to the floor. Slovenian couple. 
so crisp. Nice footwork. Tango is a little bit like trying to move without moving too much. Now it's all up to the judges again. And now the walls. Danish couple getting ready and swinging off. It's a swinging dance. It's, if you think you put a pendulum that swings up and down. Slovenian couple here showing some nice movements. But still, it's also a matter of being able to stand still and show that you have control and balance in this dance. It is actually a slow dance, and you have much more time than you think. German couple. Danish couple getting applauded by the teacher in the background. A previous world champion in the 10 dances. Hungarian couple here. You're not alone. Not really alone. The stars are all my friends. And the twirl off. And the Russian. Looking happy with that performance. <laughs> 